and Melia has rejoined the party. So, hooray, good things are hopefully going to happen for her. Did she, did she learn a skill while we weren't paying attention? Draw got a ton of skill points for that. Look at all those skill points. Jeez. You can actually see the progress as we move forward. She did, and she learned something. <laughs> she learned high speed, and she's halfway to learning Whisper of the Wind. No, we're going to go for Ether. Increases Ether. That's the good stuff right now. And we'll rearrange the skill links at some point, but... I mean, look how much they gave us. What is this? 300? 694 skill points, as far as I can tell. Something close to that. It's over 600. Uh, but... Around here, I think we, we do get a good view of what's going on. It's not a great view from from the tree, from Frontier Village, but you, you do get a view. As you can see, there is a lake down there. We'll, we'll take a look at it that way. Uh, we came from that direction, in case you were wondering. But uh, for the time being, we are ready to warp out of here. Because we need to go, oh jeez, this is one of the worst parts of Frontier Village, is that if you want to warp somewhere, you kind of have to just cycle through floors. Although I will say, they're all kind of lined up here, so, you know, you start to get a sense of it, we will eventually complete that map. This is going to be one that we complete quite easily, but for the time being, let's just warp to the Sacred Altar. And we pretty much made it where we need to go, let's go talk to Dunga. He does have a fancy little headdress, doesn't he? May I introduce Herapon Ricky! Oh, what's that? Oh, get off me! Oh, to you! Right in the Take this, bubble! That's you, okay. Introduce to you this year's legendary Herapon, Ricky! Ah. New hum hum friends, meet this year's legendary Herapon, Ricky! Ricky, live to serve! Hero pond, you say? Not sure where you'll come in handy, but the more the merrier. Sure. Are these Telethia as strong as they sound? Yes. They're quick as lightning and can read your mind. A mind reading giant bird? No problem. I can see their movement through the Monado, but even that's not enough to get the better of them. And we're going up against the daddy version. No one blink for a second. Okay. Eyes wide open. And don't forget that Melia is our only chance of making it to Aerith's sea. If anything happens to our guide, it's on our heads. The Telethia is our target, but don't forget about the person standing next to you. Dumban's right. I am... in your debt. My weaknesses are all too apparent. No worries, Melia. Ricky has been informed of the Dino Beast. What you refer to as the Talethia. Be safe, my hum hum friends. Ricky's friends, listen to Ricky. The Dino Beast is big and scary. Friends, get ready. Friends, help Ricky get ready. You want us to get equipment for you? Ricky's friend, right? Hum hum clever. Friends meet Ricky when ready. Then, Friends and Ricky leave together. Big attitude for a furry footrest. Dino Beast is big and scary. Great. That'll come in handy. 
Is it just me, or did we suddenly become Nopon mercenaries? And we got ourselves a new quest. It's kind of hard for me to talk about uh, Ricky here and being in a Nopon village without getting choo-choo flashbacks. Those haunt my nightmares. All right, so we got ourselves a new quest, a story quest, an errand for the Hero Pond. No Pond craftsmen have made Hero Pond Ricky some brand new equipment for free. Just need to collect it. There are multiple objectives. Please check the quest log. No reward for this. Although, well, we get Ricky. That seems to be a thing. So collect Ricky's weapon from the weapon shop and collect Ricky's armor from the armor shop. So I already know where those are. Uh, I always get a little confused, but th this one's on the west. Here is where the armor shop is. We got armor that can even protect from Dino Beast attack. Well, maybe not quite that good. Anyway, do your best. Come back safe and tell the story of Ricky. Ricky's bravery. Yeah, that, that's probably not gonna happen. But we get some saber gloves. So, I mean, that's something. That's something. We'll also take a look at the, uh, the little change there. We get a little check mark. Hooray, we're, we're, we're doing good work. <laughs> oh, there's so many quests here. We will be back for this eventually. But uh, for the time being, let's just head up to the weapon shop. And hopefully we can finish this quest and send Ricky on his way. Ricky going to kill Dino Beast? Ricky gonna need good weapon. Good luck, Hero Pod Ricky, me supporting you. And for this, we get a Warrior Nasher. And we have completed an errand for the Hero Pond. You have all of the Hero Pond's equipment. Hooray. No reward for that. Ready to go? Come, new friends. Ricky's adventure begins. Ricky, you do know where the Teletia is, don't you? Of course, Ricky, no. Melly, Ricky here you hurt Dino Beast. I did, but only a little. When Dino Beast hurt, Ricky know it go to place with ether crystals. Friends and Ricky go to place with crystals. Then we find Dino Beast. Chief, tell Ricky. Chief, always right. So you do know a thing or two about this monster. Guess we'll be searching for some ether crystals then. Ricky, why are you the Hereupon? Why? Because Chief Dunga chose Ricky. He chose you? So you weren't chosen from birth? Friend wrong. Chief chose by instinct. <laughs> by instinct? Why, friend surprised? Chief have sharp instinct. Chief be village seer. So that's how you became the Hereupon. Can't argue with that. But he is kind of... compact. For a warrior hero. Oh, Ricky owe lots of monies to village. If Ricky defeat Dino Beast, village promise to forget my debts. So Ricky like being hero pon. If you haven't been able to figure it out by now, Ricky is going to be in our party. He is definitely mostly comic relief. He is one of the big comic reliefs of this game. It's a little late to be introducing comic relief, but uh, there he is. And we get an update so we can learn about Ricky. Uh, Ricky's gonna jo permanently join the party, it seems, because we do get a little tactics here for people, but, uh, you know, could be temporary as well. Maybe once uh, we kill the dino beast. He has the talent art of yoink. Ricky have talent, Ricky have talent art too. It's called Yoink. Ricky, take nasty monsters, items, strength, HP, makes, make them all Ricky's. Auto attack, make Ricky's talent gauge refill. Ricky, super tough. Hero pawn, little attacks, no problem. Ricky's happy, happy fills the party gauge, making it easier to revive anyone who has become incapacitated. That means we can all be heroes. Bitey, bitey, and lurgy, very deadly. Cause damage over time, really scary. You probably want to use them at the very start of battle. If you use them to finish off an enemy, the slow burn effect is wasted. So, we get, uh, 
information about Ricky here. Let's go into more detail here. As you can see, this is a pretty good party that we got. We're up to six party members. This is this is where those affinity coins start to be really useful. Uh, we do have a hunter biter. So after all that, he doesn't even come equipped with that warrior nasher. Let's go ahead and give it to him. Definitely an improvement across the board. Nothing really all that great about the hunter biter. Much better. Much better. It does come with two slots too. It also comes with a no pawn cap, which I assume is going to be the best in slot. No! Lots better already. At least that jungle thing's better. We'll see if we can't equip him with that some other time. Uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be an upgrade here. This is one that I remember upgrading as soon as he came into the party, but not today. Not today. I just don't have the right things. Of course, I did more side quests before. Oh, there we go. Jungle bottoms. There's an increase for him. And definitely something that other people have passed on. So let's give him the jungle bottoms. You can tell because uh, the, it comes with the most recent ones. And I have some ease up there. So everybody else passed on it. Anything for you there? Mm, possibly. Possibly those mist sandals. How much are you on there? 218. It's probably better if he keeps a little bit of uh, physical defense. As you can see, his hair... Wings, they become, a uh, like secondary arms that he uses to attack. It's Ricky. Hooray, Ricky. I'm not going to give him gems just yet. Uh, let's take a look at his arts, though. We already heard about a couple of them. He is the only thief in our party. He comes with 10,000 AP, not as much as Melia came with. So we have Yoink, steal something that Ricky likes from the enemy. Uh, it does some damage as well. Uh, you're going to want to spam this pretty much as much as you can uh, because, well, you get items out of it. And sometimes you'll get the really good item from an enemy and it's better to yoink than it is to uh, wait for treasure chests to spawn. You know, that's just me, but uh, I like that. So when it comes to Ricky, uh, I do like Happy Happy. Happy Happy is quite nice. Ricky does his happy dance, filling the party gauge. It fills it by 55, which is not a very good, well, indication of how much the party gauge is filled. But we're going to go ahead and increase that, lower its cooldown as well. Um, actually, just the one. Let's let's hold off. Uh, bitey Bitey. Uh, not something that I actually care about, even though it does inflict bleed and it does last for a little bit if you hit it from the back it even lasts longer so we'll be using that to start but uh, Ricky takes some time to develop he is mostly a kind of a debuff slash I don't know long effect attacker at least that's how I end up using him uh, so bitey bitey not necessarily the best although it's good to have right now until we get something better um Ricky bites out, inflicting bleed from behind and extends duration. As you can see, it does 850 to 900 damage, and then the bleed does do quite a bit as well. Then we have Sneaky, also not something that I particularly care about. Ricky sneaks up from behind, dealing lots of damage. 500 to 600, I wouldn't say, is a lot, but if you hit from behind, then it's three times that, so we're talking 1800 damage. Uh, what is that, 1700? You know, 1700 to 1800 damage if you hit from behind so that's that's significant that's not nothing but uh you know shulk's doing way more than that now uh play dead not my favorite ricky plays dead enemies ignore him allowing a surprise attack upon activation all aggro removed he'll same hp as genuine revival you go over and revive him if i can i'm gonna take this off I don't like it when Ricky uses it. I don't particularly like using Ricky myself. Uh, I typically use Ricky and Melia in the same party. For whatever reason, I feel that they pair together well. And then I usually just have uh, Sharla just to make sure in case I, I want to heal. But if, if healing is not an issue, then I bring Shulk another DPS in something like that. Uh, Lurgy, this is something I really do like. Ricky chews poisonous ga grass from Machna and spits it out in a cloud. It hits a fan shape in front. It only does 200 damage, but it does 200 damage 
and poison over 30 seconds. And of course we can increase that over time, decrease the cooldown. Yeah, you want to pretty much uh, set this up from the beginning because this lasts a long time. 30 seconds is a long time in this game. Uh, we do have hero time. The hero pawn charges ahead with a blessed aura surrounding him, prevents tension from decreasing. It only hits him. It increases a random stat 75%. For 20 seconds. It's actually really good. It's actually really good. So we're going to uh, buff that. As you can see, it increases how much the stat increases by. So we're already doubling a stat at random. And it almost lasts the entire time now. So there you go. I don't typically like using uh, characters with auras because I always forget to put it back up. But there is an exception to that. There is an exception. We'll go over that when it's better. Uh, we have Roly Poly. The bigger you are, the harder you fall. Uh, this does inflict topple sometimes, but if that fails, it puts on bind for three seconds. So not necessarily my favorite. Um, not not a big fan because if, if you notice, like no damage. But he can have it for the time being. We have behave. This one I do like. Ricky throws petals from Machna, making any enemy placid. It inflicts paralysis. And it has a chance of removing crazed. Um, the, the rate drops when the attention is low, though. But that lasts 10 seconds. 10 seconds paralysis is pretty damn nice. Let's up it. Let's give that more. So we'll, we'll behave some of the tougher enemies as we go forward. Let's go ahead and up that as much as we can. Then we have bedtime. Uh, even though I don't necessarily like that, I wouldn't recommend it. We're going to put it on instead of uh, playing dead. Because I would rather him put the enemy to sleep than having uh, them, well, having him play dead. We have You Can Do It, uh, which I actually do like. Restore HP to the party. The more debuffs, the more part, the more HP restored. So HP depends on target debuff. Does that, does that say number? Looks like just no to me. Uh, but it does recover quite a bit of HP. So he can be the healer, just like Melia can heal. Uh, but actually, let's put that on instead of bedtime. Yeah, we got access to that this early. Plus, Freezenate, which is actually really good. Ricky spits saliva that instantly freezes around an enemy. So we have initial damage plus chill damage for 10 seconds. So not as good as. Um, or is it Lurgy? But still pretty good. Freezing eight. Any guesses as to what another one that we're gonna get is? Uh, but we're gonna level that up. Decreases cooldown, so now we can have them chilled constantly. That's kind of important. Uh, this is one of the reasons I like the, the AI to use it. Hopefully they can keep that up. All right. After that, uh, that is it. So we'll start uh, leveling up. You can do it a little bit more. I'll try to find a spot for. Freezing eight here. Uh, Bitey Bitey is pretty good. We could probably get rid of Sneaky. It's not something that I'm planning on using. You know what? No. Let's put Sneaky on instead of Roly Poly. We have other ways of toppling people. So Lurgy, Freezing eight, and Behave so far. So we already have three Ether skills on there. Two physical ones, but I already said I don't like. Both of them, didn't I? Bitey Bitey and, uh, and Sneaky. I don't like either one, so obviously this is going to be a person that we try to level up some ether with. All right, let's take a look at the skills. He comes with, uh, oh, not you. He comes with Vivacity, uh, improves max HP. We have Innocence uh, for ether defense, and then we have Flexibility uh, for agility. And uh, we will... Learn that stuff and, and buff it as, as possible as we go along. But first we have Like Sun. He already has this one. Increases strength during the day. Once again, not something that I particularly care about. I want to fight during the day and night, if at all possible. Uh, but then we have Adventure Time. Increases movement speed. This is something that I will do simply because I'm Let's Playing, to be honest with you. Uh, not particularly useful in a fight too often, but... It is useful if I'm just kind of running around. And then we have flexibility. Allows items to be sold for a higher price. Let's try to learn that, huh? That sounds good. 
This one we will learn eventually, but uh, this one's probably going to be more useful to me earlier on because I do need to sell quite a bit. I just got full, right? Uh, but as you can see, we're decked out with the skill trees. Looks like there's room for maybe one more there, but maybe they're just uh, accounting for Ricky. All right, Melia, what do you have? Increases agility or, uh, yeah, increases agility. That did qu cost quite a bit, though. Uh, increases ether, obviously going to be very important for him. Uh, tension or weight. Let's go with uh, increased tension to start here. What do we have on you? Uh, max HP, that is useful. Uh, in the fight with uh, Melia, Ricky, and Sharla, Ricky ends up being the tank. Uh, even though he's not necessarily built for that. Like I said, I, I end up using them together. Uh, medium weight, uh, auras we can't deal with, uh, boost strength when HP is at max, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. And then we can try to have Ricky teach other people things, like increasing your strength during the day, actually I don't want that on Charles. <laughs> I don't want that on her. Uh, you don't have enough for that, unfortunately. That's the problem, we don't even have seven to spare. Uh, you can have more strength during the day, sure, why not? You too, strength during the day. Well, yeah, not so much. Not so much. Not as important. But you know what? She doesn't have anything else. So we'll put that on her as well. And now that we have done that, uh, we have earned the no pawn or not pawn uh, tower landmark. Uh, it's not too far from Central Plaza here. But now that Ricky is in the party, <laughs> gather friends, gather, gather my goods and pay for them. <laughs> Oh, uh, we can purchase some things from the armor shop. Because it's all Ricky stuff, and they let me look at that. I figured for sure when I came here without Ricky in the party, they wouldn't let me look at this, but sure enough, they did. Uh, so we can learn Bitey Bitey, Happy Happy, Sneaky, Play Dead, Lurgy, Roly Poly, Hero Time, and Behave, which is damn near his whole line already. Uh, we can learn that if I had more money, but I do need to sell some things. See you soon! Figured for sure they would not let me look at that just yet. Just like uh, there was a shop, um, I'll just go ahead and say it, it was Daza who was outside Colony 6. He has books for Melia, and they wouldn't let me look at it. So we'll go back and look to see what he has available now. By the way, there's a there's a heart to heart out here. No access to this one either. You would think with all the people that we have, we'd have access to at least see who the heart to heart is for. What was I talking about? Right, Daza. Uh, we'll go back and we'll show off uh, what is available from Melia from him. Uh, but that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. I've been Baller Scoop. I've been joined as always by the ever-growing party of Dunban, Sharla, Ryan, Ricky, Melia, and Shulk. When we come back, I have a lot of optional stuff to take on. We have two new party members. We have an entire town full of quests to go through. We have quite a bit of optional stuff. I'm not going to predict how long it, it's going to take or what level I'm going to get at, but don't be surprised if I come back at level 40. I'm just saying, that's a possibility at this point. But that is going to do it for these parts. Hope you have enjoyed them. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.